So guys, in the last video, we learnt the working of the low pass filter. Now let's have a look at the working of the high pass filter, which is also a part of a passive filter and as it is known as a passive filter, it is made up of passive components like resistor, capacitor and inductors. A simple high pass filter or HPF can be easily made by connecting together in series a single resistor with a single capacitor as shown in the diagram. In this type of filter, arrangement input signal is applied to the series combination that is the resistor and the capacitor are connected in series but the output signal is taken across the resistor only. The formula above is for calculating the reactance of the capacitor as we calculated in the low pass filter. Over here where Xc is the reactance of the capacitor, the term F represents the frequency of the signal given as the input to the capacitor and C is the capacitance of the capacitor. The reactance provided by the capacitor changes in accordance with the frequency of the signal. As I said before. In high pass filter, the high frequency signal will be passed through the capacitor while the low frequency signal will be blocked by the capacitor as the reactance formula says. As the high frequency signal crosses the capacitor, it can be seen across the resistor and it can be seen across the output terminals. The diagram shows the ideal output of the high pass filter. This is also not possible to be achieved. The practical output of high pass filter is shown. From this, we can see that the frequencies above the cutoff frequency FC are allowed to pass through the band and are also known as pass band, while which are attenuated are known as stop band. It's the first order high pass filter due to which the attenuation of the unwanted signal is only 20 dB per decade. That is, attenuation is 20 dB per 10 Hz. As we have seen that a simple first order RC high pass filter can be made by connecting a single resistor in series with a single capacitor. This single pole arrangement gives us the, a roll off of minus 20 dB per decade attenuation of the frequencies below the cutoff point. However, sometimes in the filter circuit, this minus 20 dB per decade angle of the slope may not be enough to remove an unwanted signal. Then two stages of filtering can be used as shown. The circuit uses two passive first order high pass filter connected or cascaded together to form a second order or two pole filter network. Therefore, we can see that the first order high pass filter can be converted into second order type by simply adding an additional RC network to it. And the more RC stages we add, higher becomes the order of the filter. The figure shows the characteristics of a second order high pass filter. It clearly shows that the roll off below the cutoff frequency is minus 40 dB per decade due to which the attenuation of the frequencies which are not required is much higher than the first order high pass filter.